What is good family? Yes sir, but I'm finally doing something I've always wanted to do, bro. I've seen goats like Corey Kenshin, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, they all react to some sort of like scary stories, scary videos, those little scary animations things, bro. They all do that. I would've just started doing it too, bro. I've always grown up loving horror, bro. I love horror movies. Horror films, bro. Horror stories. Like, anything horror, horror games. I love that shit, bro. So, as a little precursor to Spooky Scary Sunday, bro. I'll start doing these every single Sunday. Come on here. react to some sort of, like, short films or some shit. Probably about three or four. And then you niggas can go watch the Goat Corey Kitchen after, bro. Big body Corey, bro. So, much like stand your ass up, it's now time, bro. The first story ever, The Mannequin. Let's see what this shit is, bro. Nigga already? It just started! As a mannequin, I would've slapped her ass right there. I ain't gonna hold you. She'd be like, oh! Frisky. Oh, you poop stain, you scared me. Poop stain? Me as a, bla a black man cannot be called that. Who was that, Jesse Pickman? Yeah, I had to. The auction house had it solo, I couldn't pass it up. Ooh, get this. It belonged to a famous designer. Yes, say less. Murdered. Cool. It only be white people, bro. Do we have to keep it in the bedroom? Who wrote this script? <laughs> that nigga said coolsies. No way you got scared of that bullshit. Why is that nigga dressed like that? Funny. All right, I'm headed to the gym. The gym? Nigga, you dress like Rocky Balboa, but what are you wearing? He about to go cheat, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold. What the fuck? <laughs> How? He has legs? <laughs> nigga, how is he walking on that damn pole, bro? Haha. Ha. Very funny. What's funny about that? Leave the house yeah. now. Nobody could have moved it that fast. Babe? She thought that was the boyfriend, nigga? What do you think? He's Barry Allen Flash, Wally West? How fast do you think this nigga is? So now you keep an eye on that nigga, bro. Treat this shit like fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. You gotta keep looking at these niggas. No, nigga. He's down the street piping Cynthia long dick style. He's cheating on you right now. That nigga's nowhere near this house. He has Cynthia <laughs> clapping her shit. Steady strokes. What? No, I'm at the gym. You're fucked. No way you're just gonna keep... No, bro. Leave the fucking house after that. No way this nigga brings his pole over here. Oh, the glass is still right there. Oh, sh- Ugh! I was about to say, bro. Huh, almost missed you. The mannequin not gonna miss you, though. You got that shit in your room, dog? No way it gets that dark. I mean, all honesty, bro, if you lose a fight to a mannequin with no legs. It's just too many creepy coincidences. You'd already be out the house. Look at him go like this. Nope, you're out of here. <laughs> Nigga, what? You lost? This swole ass nigga high pumped on creatine right now. You better not lose this fight. Yeah. He about to bend over to check on it. That man about to start clapping his shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. There's something behind me, isn't there? <laughs> what the? F bro, get that shit out of here, bro. No way, man. Next video, we have a video called Maintenance Report. This is about Five Nights at Freddy's VHS found footage, I guess, my niggas. Let's see what the fuck we have here, bro. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and them. What the f- Who the hell was that? 
They're trying to get you boy with the skill, a jump scare that fucking fast, bro. I hate scary stuff. They get me stuttering All and right. shit. So I've managed to finally roll this thing in here. So I guess I let's just... go ahead and get started now. <laughs> I don't understand this maintenance report. Why would anybody choose to work here, bro? On some real shit. Like I understand the money might be banging. Maybe a smooth fourteen dollars an hour. But if I look in this fucking thing that's supposed to be protecting, so hopefully, and that thing's built like a grown ass man. Lately. Uh, we're also opening a new location. Like who's here, taking so Barney in a fight, dog? It that nigga's six six. This thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models. So let's go ahead and see what I need to do first. Let's see here. Movement test. All right then. We will need as many parts as we can salvage from our remaining animatronics. You know I wouldn't read that shit. Wires, circuit boards, or pieces from the endoskeleton. Y'all thought I only didn't read shit in video games. I'm not reading that shit either. Into the computer to test each of the animatronics' joint movements. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Nigga, in what realm? All right. Let's get the computer on. Get this thing hooked up, and let's see how this movement test goes. No, sir. Let's see. Ah, here it is. I knew it. Before I even saw his... I knew it was going to be a white man. Old ass floppy disk. I think it's Bonnie breathing on the back of this nigga neck right now. Can't wait to do that. Jump scare. To proceed. Yes. All right. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. H G A E, and then we'll just go down the rest of the body. I feel like he's gonna be. I don't know, bro. Like he's gonna be in a different position when he turns around one of these times. Bonnie, you like black people? Okay. Well then. Looks like the neck and jaw are functioning it. normally. So I'm gonna put this camera down a bit so I can. That nigga looks straight oh. at him. That's strange. I guess there's some kind of circuit malfunction. Yeah, and I would have left right there. Okay. Nigga! What is Leave the room, right. dog! Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right. Get it all rebooted, and then we'll he pick about up to where we left off. disconnect your head from your body. Okay. What so the? Just checking the circuits now on the back of the head here. They might be shorted. These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. Yeah, Thankfully, you're about to I'm be gutted, my nigga, and replaced junk, by so another worker in your spot. Thing how it is, and move on to the next one. As soon as Bonnie goes, All right, so puts his hand on your shoulder, you know it's over for you. E -A -R -S. Huh. Why aren't they moving? That nigga is alive now, dog. E -A -R -S. I, I hate these little quick movements, bro. Alright, so if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected to the head. So I guess the ears don't work either. All right, let's try the arms instead, I guess. As soon as he says try the legs, game over for him. Okay, that seems to be working fine. Great, at least we can salvage something from the endoskeleton. Legs? So let's try the other one now. You know what it's building up to. He can move every finger too. Oh Jesus shit! <laughs> that fragile ass nigga. That nigga twisted his whole yeah, rotator okay. cuff. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. All of these parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly. Yeah, you just built so me. poorly and terrible, I mean, Bonnie. You weak ass, poor ass, broke ass hand, nigga. But I don't know how. Looks like I'll only be able to entirely salvage the left arm, though. Which, I guess, is better than nothing. <laughs> Damn, this thing stinks. Okay. What was that? 
So let's go ahead and take off this left arm now. Why did they be making fun of it, though? I can at least salvage something from this thing. All right. So what what angle see, did you I'm pick that shit the up from? Arm taken off. Took a bit of force and, of course, some know-how. But here it is. And as you can see, the wire. Nigga, you ripped the wires. Still intact enough to be rewired to anything else. So hopefully, I'll be able to salvage everything that I haven't tested already. But seeing how easily that right shoulder joint just snapped. Don't turn your back on him, dog. All right, let's move on to the hips now. Niggas just be so they want to die sometimes. Man, what did a nigga mean, just started twerking? Might as well just collapsed right in front of me. I'm surprised they want me to salvage anything from it at all. All right. Let's move on to the legs. Here, Leg. here we go. Leg. I know. He about to start walking straight for this nigga. Okay, those seem to be. This <laughs> shit is so creepy, dog. Right. All. Yeah, once Bonnie goes. All right, both legs seem to be working fine. I'll probably sound it to the last though. Oh, I thought that was him moving. Else, because I'll still need this thing standing. Look at him, dog. Okay. Fabric exterior salvage. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. This means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer as possible. The most important of which are the hard to replicate. Y'all hear it moving? Head, face, hands. Oh, Jesus! Damn! Uh! That's why I'm out. Why, why is... Oh. <laughs> right. Oh. Forgot to turn the computer off. No. <gasps> okay, so, uh, anyways. It sounds like I'm just... Bro, he's looking oh, at you, dog! Layer now. Do you not see that? He's following your gaze! The other end up part is alongside the fabric piece that I actually need. No way, he's just treating this like it's normal, bro. He about to be like, my turn. Alright, with that, that should be everything. This tension okay, building so up crazy. See, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition to that, I also went ahead and took off a foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining exterior pieces that weren't turned up and ruined. So, all of those endo parts along with their exterior pieces can be boxed up and shipped off. Alright, so that's about everything I could salvage from this thing so far. Um, the only thing that could also go, but it's giving me a hard time right now, is His the head, head right here. For some reason, it won't budge, and I have no idea why. I've checked for anything that could still be holding. Cause that nigga is alive. So far, I found nothing. However, I do remember the report naming the headpiece specifically, so that means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. I guess let me keep cracking at it until something gives. Then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. Yeah, he's dead, bro. All right. After a bit of force and a few what the cuts, fuck? I mean, the face off, as you can see down there. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because it's completely glued to the back of the head, which is very unusual. So if I were to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. But is he gonna like put his head in there? They're like, oh, the wiring must be. Of the animatronic, so that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. So we are done with that then. Okay, let's see. Odor report. Okay then. We've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. He said it was. He said it yeah, smelled terrible. Emitting. These odors have been described as rotten. Yep. Decomposed, like something died inside it. We suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found no, the nigga. animatronic and became trapped within its chest. Press down both of the shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Oh, what the? Damn it! Not again. And that's that's the end for you. Huh. He's writing the I end of your storyline now. That's all yeah, it took. I might have tripped a breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right, let's go turn the power back on and hopefully nope. you ain't going nowhere, up. buddy. What the? 
He's locked hey, in there. Let me out, guys. This isn't funny. Uh, guess let me finish up real quick. What? Where'd it, where'd it go? Why I oughta? Oh, really? Right now? Come on, come on! No, sir. What? Look at how ma No, Why sir. Oh God. What the fuck? What the fuck? I pooted. I pooted. I ain't gonna hold you at all. Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> no, sir, bro. Last short horror film, we have Mukbang, bro. I've never seen a Mukbang in my goddamn life. This will be the first one I've ever seen. It's probably gonna be some exaggerated form of it, I guess, bro. It's a short horror film. Let's see what we have, bro. Mukbang. Hi, guys. It's me, Carly. Fake ass iCarly. No way they took the whole <laughs> fought and everything. Challenge. In front of me is 20 packs of with milk? fire noodles. That's 10,000 calories. Do mukbangs really be like this? Food. The current record, 15 packs in 10 minutes. I've got my timer ready. You're dead. I don't know what's about to happen, but I already know you're about to die. One. See, the thing about eating a lot of food, you gotta pace yourself, bro. Look at her roommate, like, what the fuck are you in here doing? She ruined the whole video right Person there. Food challenge video? Mm, yep. I already has 10,000 likes. Damn! Wow. I must Congrats. be in the wrong category. Her friend got kind of jealous Thanks. right there. Y'all see that? She's not happy about 10k likes? She cheated? Like on a boyfriend? The video's edited? What is she doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? One spit? No way, dog. Who cares? <laughs> If you cheating during the mug bang, my nigga, wrap it up. It's gonna be like in a teddy bear or some shit. You know it's her friend that's texting her. You know it's her friend that's texting her. What is it? I ain't gonna hold you. I be checking all my air vents. Like anytime I go to like take a shit, I be checking my shit, bro. You never know. Somebody trying to catch you with your pants down. She put a lot of emotion into her text. She look like I don't know Lana Del Rey. Nigga, who cares, dog? Think about leaks and all that shit, bro. Like, if a nigga texts me like, yeah, send me 500,000 or I'll leak your dick pic. Like, nigga, do it. TikTok. And I'll know if you cheat. That is so crazy to me. Hey, guys. It's me, Carly. And today is my first ever live challenge. I Carly, look at this fucking bro. The last challenge, but me beating it this time. In front of me is twenty packs of Korean fire noodles. I've got my timer ready. Huge fan, Gollum. In three. Rocky, two, yo, Adrian. What are these? Days? <laughs> what the hell? Good luck. One. <laughs> Ghostface, you like scary movies. What is she about to do, dog? Just pace yourself. It's not that it's not that hard. Ugh. How? How that fast? Oh hell no. The thing is she actually recording and filming this, dog? She's sweating. You know her stomach going crazy right now. 
She gonna take the meanest of shits. Are you okay? Yeah, you got two minutes to eat the rest. Of Then stop eating that shit. I was that nigga say wubba dubba dub dub. Is she good? Ugh. You know it's her friend texting her. Well, it looks like Carly bit off more than she could chew. What? Why did her own friend set her up like that, bro? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Reacting to scary stories and animations and shit like that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this shit. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends, pray for your enemies. Never religious at least, wish them well. I'll see you guys next. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing this. I'll probably upload them every single Sunday, like I said, as a precursor for the actual spooky, scary Sunday, my nigga. Shout out to Gokuri. Love you, my nigga. Peace out, yo.